We're here. We got Group C. Yeah. Dark Tiny Group C. What's up, back, everyone? Back to some Dark Tiny decks. Cam E B. So, uh, oh. yeah. We got Thurston, the Fancifully Envious, Wretch Gang, the Count of Sky, Mix Irith, the Only Guard, and Arctic Ishtar of the Dojo. Yeah. So there, there's our contenders for the night. Uh, now, Arctic Ishtar of the Dojo is the library card deck that I believe I got to do ridiculous stuff with. It is a Star Alliance Untamed Logos deck, which I think may be the, the house combination to beat in this set. It's the chase combo. Um, I do think Unfathomable is very good versus specific style of decks. Um, I am Rich Gang. Yep. No, I'm on Rich Gang. Okay. Um, but uh, I do think that house combination has probably got the got the legs for um, the set. I think it'll beat those unfathomable decks that want to like just destroy your board all the time too, because it's just playing a million things all the yeah. time. Yeah, it, 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 it's like you you basically force the opponent to answer the board every turn or just lose the game. So or you're just doing it like like the. Like Mervigig doesn't care what it ends up with on the board, right? It just yeah, yeah. it plays a bunch of cards and it's often and blowing up its own. It's killing its own stuff and it doesn't really care. Yeah. Thank you, Kelly's unique for fourteen months. Fourteen, sweet. We are. Uh, we're over here holding out hope that we won't get a delay message again for the United yeah. States. Yeah, could I mean. It was, it was about this time last month we knew that uh, stuff was getting delayed, but we haven't heard otherwise yet, which maybe means that it's coming. So, I don't know. Tough to say. The United States might finally get to experience mass mutation next week. Uh, I mean, dark also tidings. Dark tidings. <laughs> you already have mass mutation. Also dark tidings. But maybe dark tidings coming out will bring down the price of excess mass mutation boxes. Yeah. Because this has been $95 forever. Uh, yeah, well, it's an insane set, so... Yeah. There's a lot of chase stuff in the set. Four. Okay. Bets. Yeah. So waiting for the LGS to start up OP. I figure uh, it won't be that long. Um. Hmm. I'll keep, I guess. You just play a DT tomorrow from Canada. They've looked this for a week and a half before your local. Are you going to open it tomorrow, Storm? That's the question. I'll keep, I'll say Saran will play Vinegar Altum. I'll say Shadows. Play Widespread Corruption, so after Creature Reefs. Their opponent controls, gains Amber, puts an Amber on it. Play Whisper, and I'll give Whisper a hand cannon. You're going to host a local release term. Oh, sweet, nice. Very cool. Board game bar, man. Sounds really fun. I wish we had a board game bar here. All right, I am going to say Starlight, so I'm going to play CXO Tabor. Uh, I am going to give Tabor the Light of the Archons, and I'm going to give uh, Vinegar Altum the Amberback, and then I'll raise the tide. Um, and it is your turn, I will draw three. I'll say, sorry, I'm going to play the ISS Indominus, the garbage card. I'll play a Reach Advantage to get the tide. No. Uh, then I will play a Laposaurus. I feel like the ships could be Omni and not be broken, right? At least it makes you like have to deal with the creatures of that house. So it sort of adds yeah. interesting dynamic, but it's it's obviously too late now for them to be Omni, but. As actions, they're just, they're not quite, quite there. Uh, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Sir Bevor. I am going to play Urian the Serpent <coughs> Effect. 
and I will play Numquad, and I will destroy Whisper, um, and it is your turn. I will draw. He's also going to do one to all the enemies. It could be good, but like, is that better than getting an Amber? Most times, if it's killing something, yeah. But like, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say unfathomable. I will play sink or swim to discard a random card from your hand. Ostracize, all right. I will play abandoned ship to return four creatures to their own hand. Uh, I'll get those four. And I'll play a hookmaster. Okay, your turn. I am going to say dog man. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to reap with Numquad. I am going to play Sir Bevor. I'll play Urion the Circumspect. Uh, actually, I'll do the Vault Keeper, then Sir Bevor, then Urion. Um, I'll play Marshal Ewer and Raise the Tide. And then I will play Taxing Journey. A uh, friendly creature captures one. Each neighbor that shares a house with it captures one. So I will capture like so. Jeez. And it is your turn. I will draw two. Jeez. All right. I'll say. I'll say uh, Saurian. Play ostracize to purge Orion. I'll fight Numquid. Play a Faust. No exalt. Your turn. I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play uh, Vinegar Altum. I will play Siren Horn. And I'll play Ankleo Formation. And all of my creatures gain Skirmish. Okay. Um, and your turn. I will draw. So, Shadows, I will play Monty Bank. Uh, I'll loot or pillage to capture three onto the Monty Bank. Play Jackie Tar. Gas Pipes Malone. I'll. Discard hard Simpson since it's nearly really hard for me to have the tide with you have Marshall Lever on the table. Your turn. Uh, okay. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play um, Shifting Battlefield. I'll move Vinegar Altum here and I'll capture one. Um, Vault Keeper is going to fight the Monty Bank. Uh, actually, first I will reap with Sir Bevor. Put that on the Monty Bank. Uh, and then Vault Keeper is going to go fight Monty Bank. Thank you, Code Red. 23 months, Tier 1. Thank you. Uh, I know I got the Vault Keeper, but I can't risk a situation where the Monty Bank um, gets to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, and then Marshall uh, Ewer is going to fight gas pipes, I guess. And your turn, I'll draw one. All right, I'll see. I'll see Unfathomable. I will play Portal and take the tide. I'll fight. Um, fight Sir Bevor, just make you lose two. And then I'll play Maelstrom. Let's 
this absurd creature. Please, guys. Yeah, your turn. Throw with Maelstrom. I almost forgot to uh, utilize my chains there. I think I have done that in the past. Is that I put the chain tracker down, and then I have to like worry about putting stuff on top, and then I draw up. So uh, okay, I am gonna say um, Starlance. I'm gonna play Tabor. I'll play Volmark, and um, I'll play Operative Espion, and I'm gonna Techno Babble the Signum, which will get both. Um, send a creature in, in each of its neighbors that share a house with it. I will say check with six, and I will draw uh, four. I'll say shadows. I'll play a ransack. Steal one. Steal two. Oh. And uh, that's it. I am going to say um, Sanctum. I am going to play Sir Bevor. I am going to play Uriah the Circumspect. I'm going to play the Vault Keeper. I'll play Marshal Ewer and raise the tide. After a player raises the tide during their turn with Operative Espeon, they may use a creature they control. Um, so I am going to have, um, Tabor, I think, um, just reap, and I will play uh, Venator Altum. And it is your turn. I will draw five. Okay, I'll say a forge. Play Sarian. I'm gonna give you this Trojan Sar Saropod. I will play Council Primus, Lapisaurus, and a Faust. Uh, with no exalt. Okay, I am going to say Starlance. Um, Espeon is going to reap. And Walmart is going to reap. Your keys are plus three next turn on the unlikely event that you try to forge. Um, I am going to put... Um, I'm going to put Light of the Archons on Marshall Ewer. It's tempting to put the Light of the Archons on Urion here. Um, I'm going to Selective Preservation to choose a creature of each power value. So one, two, three, four. Five, 
no six, seven. So um, Espeon, Valmart, Orion all die. That's why um, I could put the Light of the Archons on there to make Orion four. Um, but then I would lose the Vault Keeper. I think having the Vault Keeper versus Shadows is very good. So, uh, okay. And then I am going to use Tabor here. I will just reap with Tabor. Selective Preservation. Selective Preservation, yes. And I will play Undag Nafis. And it is your turn. I will say check with eight and draw three. Say so Shadows, I'll play a Francis and I'll Luger Pillage to capture three. Your turn. It's going to be so much easier if you just let me force these keys, Justin. I know. Uh, Repay, I'm sure, capture. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, you could have put it on. I could. Uh, it, it, it's fine. It's on. Okay. It's on. I had enough to threaten before. Okay. I am. Going to say. Uh, I am going to say Saurian. Yeah, I'll say Saurian. No, no. Yeah, I'll say sorry. Um, I am going to have um, Venator Altum fight Francis, and then Undagnathus fight the Spark Fist. I am going to play Sensor Philo. I am going to discard Barry Riches. Um, and I am also going to discard wipe clean. I don't actually want to do damage to my creatures there because there's that shadow card. I don't know if that deck has it, but there's that shadow card that does that exalts everything that's damaged. So, um, and it's your turn. I will draw three. So check with nine. All right, play Zarian. Play Paragardian. I'll play a Faust. And I'll capture one, uh, and I'll exalt Paragardian. Um, and then I'll raise the tide with chains. I'll play Swallow Hole. I'll have Faust eat the Vault Keeper since they're the same power creature, right? Yes. Choose two creatures, purge the creature with the lowest power, and I choose that to have the lowest power. Get four counters. And I'm done. Yeah, so I'll forge for eight. Okay, uh, I am going to say Saurian. I am going to uh, Trojan Sauriopod. All right, you get that's only one creature. Okay, Master. So, puts that creature into play ready. Uh, so you exhaust everything, and you got portal so you can choose. Um, I'm going to play Console Primus. I will um, reap with 
Undagnathus. I'll reap with Venator Altum. I will reap with Sensor Phyla. And then I'm going to ostracize Faust. So I lose my encourage Faust. It's actually probably worth it to fight the hook monster there. But. Um, okay, it's your turn. I will draw two. Okay, Let's see, unfathomable. Play portal. I get Stark out. That is high. I will fight. Uh, it doesn't matter. Console premise. Make you lose two. I'll play Recruzial's Chant to exhaust each creature since the tide is high. Then I will sleep with the fishes to destroy all exhausted creatures. Okay. Alright, last chain, draw two, shuffle, and draw one. Okay, uh, my turn. Mm -hmm. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'll play Captain Valve Jericho. Um, using Jericho, I will play Medicus Lacus. Um, and then I am going to deploy uh, Hawkins. Get one. And I'll say check with six. And it is your turn. I will draw three. All right, well, say, battle, pick up the archive, play portal, play Cruzel's Chant, and sleep with the fishes. <laughs> I actually did not even realize there were two in here. I didn't draw into them. They're the bottom cards of the deck. Oh, there's two of each? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'll play Horde Sign then. All right, my turn. Yep. My Forge. Mm -hmm. I am going to say I thought you drew them after the reshuffle. No, they're they're two in there. That's okay. actually super good. Uh, I'm gonna play Gatekeeper, and I am going to play Taxing Journey, and I will Mighty Lance the Hard Sign. And it's your turn. I'll draw and then shuffle and draw. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I will say Shadows. I'll play a Monty Bank. Play Looter Pillage to steal one. I'll Smet Shoes to do two damage to the Gatekeeper. To check six. Okay, uh, I am going to say Star Alliance and play Operative Espeon. Um, I'm going to put Light of the Archons on the Gatekeeper. I'm going to put Officer's Blaster on the Gatekeeper. Um, move it to the creature's right neighbor. This is mm -hmm. right. Um, do I take the chains here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, and it's your turn. I'll draw three. A porch. I'll see Sarian. Play reach advantage. Capture two under the Monty Bank. I'll ostracize to purge the gatekeeper. I'll play a Lapisaurus. Your turn. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to say Sanctum. I'll play Marshall Ewer to raise the tide, and I will put Shoulder Armor on Marshall Ewer. And it is your turn. I'll draw two. Um, did you get to use a creature, right? Oh, you're right. Um, so I reap, I guess, with Operative Espion. I so bad because you're just going to steal it. I'll crash it in the hard sign. And I'm so mad at the double board wipe, the back-to-back -back board wipes, right? Because I was like trying to plan for the first one. Uh, anyway, continue. And this dog is like chewing directly on these cords, and he is going to make a fuss if I touch this rope, Eddie. I'm gonna touch this rope. Are you fine with me touching this rope? I'm moving it over to there. It's over to there. It's right there. You got it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the Monty Bank steal. There's like no reason to generate the amber because the Monty Bank's gonna use it. I'll say sorry, and I'll play a Faust and a Paraguardian, and I'll read the Lapsaurus. It goes on to Marshall Uber. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah, it would have just been captured. It's a good point. You can put it on Lapsaurus. Okay, I am. Uh, going to say Star Alliance. I'll play Captain Val Jericho. I'll play CXO Tabor. Uh, I am going to use Jericho to play. Could use the Marshall Ewer. Um, I'll play Council Primus. It's your turn, I'll draw three. See, unfathomable. Triple Archive, play Portal. Freeze the tide. Uh, I'll play Abandoned Ship to return all your creatures. I'll play I'll discard Maelstrom, I'll play Refusal's Chant. Lost my creatures and then it turns over. Yeah, that's good. Um I that was a deeply frustrating game. That was like a, that was an example of like I think a bad matchup, honestly. Mm. Um, There's a lot of board control in this deck. I think the reason the game was so close is because you didn't draw your board wipe stuff towards the end of the game. Yeah. Um, I don't see how I win that matchup in a million years uh, because this deck relies. This deck has a lot of con synergies. And what's going to happen is you're going to get this deck and you're going to play against not unfathomable, and the game is not going to be close. Because if the creatures in that deck survive more than like two turns, you just assemble like these juggernaut boards, um, which it did not get to do. Okay. You are on Burston. You're Arctic ish. No. Yes, I'm You Arctic. have to be. Oh, yeah, this is the deck. This is that deck. The shakes. Oh, you already did it. You already started the bet. It's already started. Hmm. Oh, that deck also has a ton of ways to raise the tide. Yeah, yeah I, I, I um, had like ways on the board to raise it mm -hmm. um, fairly reliably. Um, but it like didn't matter. You just like constantly raised it. The unfathomable in that deck, I think, is just like lights out versus Sarian and Sanctum. Um, I feel like I misplayed somewhere in there. I don't know why, or, or I don't know where. I should say. I think. I think. I. I don't. I don't know. I don't know where I misplayed. It's 
Two Mooglings. This deck's got it all. It's even got a Mecha Bowie. Great. My favorite card. I don't know that you can play Mecha Bowie against like either of those two decks we just played. Uh, I mean, if you've got ways, if you don't mind dealing with the time. Yeah. I mean, how many times did I threaten keys that game? Right? Like, it was a bunch. But, I mean, how many how many times did he capture three? And then, um, I didn't want to go too high because there's actual ways to punish you in this set. So, I had to forge my first key for eight, which was frustrating because I spent a lot of time purposefully trying to make sure that I was, like, pulling the answers out of his hand for six amber over and over and over again. So that way I didn't have to be taxed. Um, but I ended up getting taxed. I guess it was a, I guess it was ultimately a frustrating game because I felt like I was playing the way I should have played the game and then it just kept going wrong. It w it felt like it went wrong like 12 turns in a row. Um so that's that's what like has made me fly into a rage. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this hand because it is not good. Yeah, also one had a capture icon, yeah. which is great. Yeah, I mean, Faust, Faust is pretty good. Faust was like the all-star in Mass Mutations, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Faust is like what tied Sarian Mass Mutation decks together. It's like decks that didn't have Faust were bad because the your exalted amber. It's also interesting with the widespread corruption on yeah. the table. Yeah, it's actually very interesting with it, so. Uh your first deck. Okay, I am going to say logos and I'm gonna play theory or conjecture and archive the top two cards. Starlights. Play Zap. Play Kirker. Draw. Play Taylor. Okay, I am going to say Sarian. I I'm sorry, Sanctum. I am going to first or last and purge each creature with the lowest power. I'll play General Zalador and I will play a Bring. That's a card that is very good against Light Tasker. Uh, first or last, I think is just it's just insane. It's a very good card. Yeah. I think it's an insane card. Like I have no idea how that card gets printed. I'll say Logos. I'll play Hydro Cataloger. I will play Science. And I'll BDQ our creatures. Even though your creature is definitely better. Or my, my creature is definitely better than that creature. But it is what it is. All right, my turn. I am going to say Sarians. I'm going to play the first scroll. Uh, I'm going to play Venator Altum. I'm going to discard Crushing Charge, and I am going to Decadence to Exalt, Ready, and Use Venator. And I'm going to read. Four yeah. mugs sounds real Two sweet. Sorry, I'll draw four. Uh, I'll say Untamed. I'll play a Mookling. I'll play a Bridging Druid. I'll play the Fittest. Where's this hand? To give them power counters. And then I'll play the Genetic Drift. Give a creature a power counter, and then give each creature with a power counter another power counter. So three. It's like spoils of battle, but with power counters. Mookling at five power is pretty sweet. Even though he's about to get murdered by. Uh, my turn. Yeah. I am going to, um, say logos. I'm gonna play science. I'm gonna play science. Get one. I'm gonna play Tall Mage Steelheart with three. I'm gonna play Tall Mage Steelheart with four. And then I'm gonna play Tall Mage Steelheart with five. Alright. <laughs> um yeah, full house by the way. <laughs> and I am going to draw five. Did you capture the science? Uh no, no, I should have captured on the vinegar. Okay, I'll say Logos. I'll play a Bill Jordan and raise the tide. I'll try the top card. I'll play Infomorph and Brain Eater. Uh, 
Okay, I am going to say Logos. I will play the Bilge Warden. I'm going to play Arma Drone. Um, the six power Tall Mage is going to take out the Moogling. Archive. Yeah. The seven power Tall Mage will kill Brain Eater. And the eight power Tall Mage will kill the Bilge Warden. Um, it's possible that it's correct to like reap a couple of them, but at the same time, I think I just want some of your stuff to. And uh, it's your turn, I will draw two. Okay, I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play Kirker. Play the Zap. Logos. Sorry. I'm going to play this Triska first, just okay. in case I want to raise the tide. Logos Saurian, uh, Untamed. Logos Saurian, Untamed. Star Alliance. Star Alliance. Four damage. Mm hmm. So one, two, three, four. And I don't want to raise chains or not want to raise the tide. So your turn. Okay, I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Undeck Nafis and uh, Faust, and I'm not going to exalt anybody. And then Venator is going to kill Triska. You spend chains or inside if it's already not. You cannot. You can only spend chains to raise the tie if it's low for you, which is a very important thing to know. Yeah, good. Okay, I will say. Untamed. Or do I? Mm, I'll say Logos. I'll play Library Card. I'll play Mechabooey. I'll fight the Faust and that is my turn. I'll let you get one mecha buoy. Check six. Uh, okay, I am going to say Sanctum. I am going to play Badger Magus. Got a capture icon. I'll capture onto Undeath. Uh, I am going to play Staunch Knight. I'll play Epic Quest and I'll shove the Badger Magus and Staunch Knight into my archives. Man, Epic Quest and, is so much better in the set than that's ever been. Um, it is your turn. I will draw three. Okay, I'll say uh, Untamed. I'll pick up the archive. Or do I? Do I care about this? I'll leave it there. Um, I will play all tied up to raise the tide and archive a card. I'll play Bookling. I'll reap with the Dredging Druid to put up to three creatures from my discard pile on top of my deck. One more for Bill Jordan Brain Eater. I'll play Tangafant. Um, I have Blossom Drake, but if I want a library card next turn, I don't want to play as Blossom Drake. I'll discard Blossom Drake. Even though it's kind of cool, especially with like Epic Quest and uh, First Scroll and stuff. 
Hydra Cat. It turns off like Mecha Bowie. It turns off Hydra Cat Blogger for you. But I'm trying a library card over here. That's it. Okay. I am going to say Saurian. I am going to Carpe Venom. Uh, I'm going to exalt the Druid and the Mookling. Um, I'm going to play Cornison, Octavia, and Sensor Philo. Um, actually, really wish I had a way to kill uh, my Venator Altum here. I can kill Mon Kirker. Undeck Nathus is going to reap. It would die if it does. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, I can just reap with Kangafan. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'll reap. And I'll reap. Makes sense. All right. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Say check with six. I do have Mookling out, so. I'll say, I won't say check. I'll forge and I guess I get one. And then I forge. Yeah, and then I need to capture. Yeah, first scroll is a cool card. All right. I will say Logos. Use a library card. Play phase shift. Draw. I'll play Morph and draw. Play Brain Eater and draw. Okay. You have a Facia Flurg. Yes. I'll play Bill Jordan so you get the tag. And the archive. And the archive, yeah. Well. I'll play Biome Discovery. Oh, and I actually don't get that because the tide's not high. I'll play I'll play Play the the floaty thing first. Uh, I wanted to draw another logos card off the Jordan is why I don't I don't want to play any of these cards off the phase shift ideally. I will go ahead and play Biome Discovery though. So I'll take the tide back. I'll draw first and then archive. Ugh. I will. What are you barking at? Play phase shift. And draw. Oh, and draw. And draw. The, this phase shift is enhanced with the draw icon. I'll play information exchange. Steal one. Draw. Play information exchange. Steal one. And draw.
over phase shift. Um, my phase shift. Play this grew in. Drop. And that is the extent of my stuff. Okay. Uh, I am going to say Saurian. I am going to ostracize the Mook Link. Cornison Octavia is going to capture two. I'm going to play Inkly of Formation and uh, give uh, Sensor 5 a skirmish until the end of the turn. I'll play on Dagnathus. And um, uh, since Rafilo is going to fight uh, Bill Jordan. Okay, it's your turn. I'll say check with six. I will draw three. Say untamed, pick up the archive. Reap with Kangafant. Die. I will. Yeah, Gruen an instrument of silence. Gruen will fight the armor drone. I'll gain one. I'm gonna waste not my brain eater. Draw three. Oh, I got one from Bowie. I'll play Mookling. Give it some power counters. Uh, three power counters. And Dredgling Druid. Or three ping. I don't think so. I haven't even begun to play this game. Okay, chat. <laughs> I haven't even started. All right. You will know when I begin to play this game. I might not get this power counters. Hold this for a second. I'm going to fly this guy into the corners. Uh, they had three, uh, sorry, two counters, it was four, so Arson takes three total. And uh, I'll give this a deep bar in power counters instead. Okay, that's it. You can force for eight. Okay. And then one of your creatures captures one. Capture on Okay, and this is Sanctum. I am going to um, use 
heal or harm so that Cornus and Octavia can fight someone. Um, which in this case will be Kirker. She'll die to the hazardous. Oh, I just died to the hazardous. Yeah. Okay. I am going to doorstep. I am going to hammer Grant Luke Link. That's three. I am going to play Staunch Knight. I am going to play Badge Magus. One on Undagnathus. I am going to play Larry the Lake. I'm going to play General Salvador in an epic quest. I'm going to play Corpulent Collector. So I'm going to capture one onto the Staunch Knight with his capture icon. And then he'll capture three and take three. And it is your turn. Please. I will shuffle and draw two. Now I'm playing the game, player Hurt. Now we're playing the game. Okay, I'll say uh, game one for the mecha boy. I'll say Star Alliance. Play yeah. the Diplomat Agung. Agung. Uh, uh, Deep War Ruin be Star Alliance's turn. In addition to his other houses. In addition to his other houses, yes. Uh, I will give a gun an encounter suit. Play biome discovery. Uh, yeah, I'll discard one. This thing actually has a lot of capture icons. I'll play a biome discovery because of the two generals Alvadors. I'll discard one. I'll play. Selective preservation. So one now two diplomat. Three, Larry, just Larry. Okay, four, Infomorph, five, Kirker, uh, six, Staunch, Staunch Knight, seven, Corpulent, eight, no, nine. Uh, he's eight. He's eight. Eight, eight. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll play a zap. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Right? Mm -hmm. I'll do four and one more to Larry. Play Kirkar and draw. Oh, Deep Art Grid was eight. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. I'll discard Operative Espion. I'll play Zap uh, for another five. I'll hit two, Larry for two. Justin started to play the game. And Staunch Knight for two. I'll fight the Staunch Knight to finish it off. This is a power skirmish. So. I'm getting one. Okay. Um, I'll take this. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. The beast. Okay. All right. We can't. We can't. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Get up. Get up. Oh, man. Is Eddie 
hate dog fights. We're gonna get canceled this way. Yeah. This is how we get canceled. Jeez. Switch the cam now. No, uh, too late. No. You missed. You missed the other beast. Meatballs banished from here. <laughs> Where is the AD camp now? We can't show that on Twitch. We can't show this on Twitch. Eddie's already starting shit. Say, look, you thought it was just me, okay? No, there's a there's a through line here, okay? The through line is Eddie. All right, Eddie doesn't want to be a co-star. All right, Eddie doesn't want to play second fiddle. That's true. Eddie doesn't want to be. Eddie doesn't doesn't want to be in a house with another dog. Eddie wants to be the dog, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you have your server lock. Uh, okay, I am going to say Star Alliance. I will doorstep. I managed to hit it on the wheel. I'll play Zalvador, and it is your turn. I will draw two. Jeez. All right. So I get, I get one for the Mecha Buoy and Forge, unless you want to uh, chains. Fuck it. You got it. I don't, okay. I'll, I'll blow up five Amber. I don't want three chains. So I say Lucas. I will play science. Play information exchange. Steal one. And play phase shift. Isn't it better draw. to first roll? Oh yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, you're probably right. I I should have first scrolled. I forgot about my first scroll. I'll play uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's screwed up. All tied up. This stupid dog fight got me off my game. This is why I'm in a bad mood tonight, because I'll play of the the rampant dog fighting that I am shift. morally opposed to in this house. I'll play. Okay, I, I lose because I misplayed that last turn. Okay. You got more amber than I can do. I can take a decent logos turn, but I should just save the uh, doorstep. I should have just let you capture all of that amber instead of. Oh, lost to the library card turn, I feel. He just had the Star Alliance turn on deck afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh. Alright. Game three. I'm on Mix Iris. Okay. You're on uh, Arctic Ishtar. So I have this meatball, try to get into Eddie's uh, toy pile that he assembled below yeah. my legs. So what happens, what happens is um, when Eddie thinks meatballs around, Eddie goes and takes all of the dog toys, literally all of them, and puts them into a, to into a pile where meatball can't get to them. And if meatball is, I, I would say, uh, does not have, um, like, a, like a like a mean bone in her body. She's mostly she's mostly pretty nice, but at the same time she doesn't understand. Um, she does not understand like like she doesn't have the concept of like personal property. Eddie, for whatever reason, does, and so Meatball's like, hey, dog toys. These smell like dogs chew on them. This sounds like something I would like to do. I would like to chew on this toy. And Eddie is like, these are my toys. Clearly. I, these are my, t I am an only child. <laughs> I have 50, she's like twice, she's probably three times the size, honestly. Um, she is gigantic. Um, <laughs> no, it's not even, no, it's like, the, I mean, Meatball, Meatball is like the size of Smaug. Like, Meatball is huge. She's most, she mostly just, Kind of wants to meander wherever she wants to go and chew on stuff when she gets there. Size of a bear. It's Malamute. Okay. Yeah, you should you should see the you should see the nonsense if we don't put up Eddie's food before Meatball wanders into it. Yeah, it's nonsense, Eddie. Nonsense. I won that roll. 
Is that, I yep. rolled box pairs. Mm hmm. hmm. I guess I'll keep. Um, I will say Logos and I'll play Mecha Buoy. Hmm. All right. Say Saurian. Play Medicus, Locus, Siren Horn, and Console Promise. Okay. I am going to say. Star Alliance, I'm going to play Tabor and Kirker and draw. I'll play Operative Espeon and Kirker. And I'll play Biome Discovery, so I'll raise the tide. Um, and it is your turn. I will draw four. Hmm. I'll say Star Lance. Play Jericho. Play Tabor. I'll give Amber back to Medicus Locus. Please the tide. That's it. You get to use a creature because of Operative Espion. Oh. I'll fight Council Primus into the Kirker. Let me use Val Jericho. Uh, and I will play Numquid to kill Tabor. Uh, okay, I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to play Mook Link. And Kangafant. And I'm going to play Genetic Drift to put a plus one plus one counter on Moogling. And then it'll get another plus one plus one counter. Um, I will play All Tied Up to raise the tide. And I uh, will get to use a creature with Operative Espeon. Uh, I'm going to send uh, Kirker after Tabor. And it is your turn. I will draw. All right. I'll see. You want to see the bear? Uh, we showed Meepel on stream years ago. She's much bigger than that now. But yeah, about about a year and a half. When we were down in the basement. The um. So, back back when we were filming in the basement, Meepel was uh, frequently shown down there. I'll say Saurian. I'm going to fight the Kangafant. Um, I'll ostracize to purge the Mookling. And I'll discard Barrier Richards. Show me Paul Manal, Madge. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Alright, so I'll get one from the Mecha Buoy. I am going to say. Um, Logos, I'm going to play a library card. I'm going to play um, Phase Shift so that I can play a Mooglink. I'll play a Brain Eater. And it is your turn. I will draw four. Uh, I'll play Sanctum. Play uh, Sir Bever, Marshall Ewer to raise the tide. Do you want to use Fair uh, Jericho before? Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that, can't I? Mm -hmm. Um, so Bever, and then I'll techno babble those people. And then I'll play Marshall. Then I'll shoulder armor Marshall. Okay. I have Numquid as well. Um, Numquid. Three. Uh, 
<laughs> no problem. Craft 864, <laughs> aka handler of meatball. <sighs> yeah. You want to nice nice clout chasing there. <laughs> nice clout chasing there, meatball. Trying to trying to cash in on all these on all the TTR followers. Oh, I could use the Jericho uh, for raising the tide for the opera vet. So I'll shriek for that. Okay. Um. One, two, four. Kind of wish I held on to this phase shift for the last turn. Um, to go with the library card? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to try to hit the other phase shift. I'll just hit the other phase shift. That's what I'll do. So I'll say Logos. I'll um, uh, use library card. Um, Brain Eater is going to eat uh, Devor. And I will draw. I am going to play information exchange and I will draw. Play science and I will draw. I will play Bowmorph and I will draw. And I will play a Bilge Warden and I will raise the tide. And I get to use somebody with Espeon. So you draw too. I uh, draw. Uh, the Mookling will reap. I will play Bouncing Death Quirk. I am going to kill Infomorph and Jericho. Did you get one for the doll draw. Oh, I get Science as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, I will get, I guess, Espeon at this point in Ewer, because that's like a free use of a creature. Uh, and I think Numquat can just stick around. Uh, I didn't draw it, so mm. I will say check with eight, and it's your turn. Okay, I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play Career Officer Hawkins, and gain one. I'll play a Lieutenant Valmart. I will give Hawkins a... Actually, I'll do this the other way. This Hawkins has to go to the right neighbor. So I'll play Officer's Blaster on the Valmart and lay the Archons on the Valmart. And that's it. Okay, so I will forge for six. Uh, get one for the Mecha Buoy. Yeah. And then forge for six. Yeah, Face Shift Library card is really good, especially when one of those Face Shifts has a draw icon on it. Walmart is what now? Plus two, plus four, plus two. So seven, two. Uh, I am going to say untamed. I'm going to reap or so to put three plus one plus one counters on brain eater. Then I'm going to waste not the brain eater and I draw half the creature's power, so it's nine, so I draw five, round it up. So waste not, draw five. I had the waste not, I wanted to just hit the, uh, the phase shift so I could just kind of keep going. Play Deepwater Druin. I am going to play Instrument of Silence on the Mooglink. You mess with the crab and you get the stab. So the Mooglink's going to go kill Hawkins. And um, I will say check with seven. All right. We're in sold on Logos. North Star Alliance. Woo. Ooh wee. <laughs> I tell you, they're 
next level really good. Yeah, right. they're doing some stuff. Cesarian. I don't mind little... telling you stuff is happening. I'll ostracize the nuclein. Get the crabs out of here. Ostracize every crab, huh? Play Undognathus and uh, Sensor Philo, and I'll play Ankylio Formation. Mm. I don't know why this card is the text that it does. I don't know. <laughs> it's just I not, don't know. It's, it's not like, good. It, it's, it's like, um, it's like, uh, if um, you took what's the the war song, and war song was like target creature gains fight gain one or exalt one of your creatures and all your creatures gain exalt fight one and it's like which situation like why why like the the, the it's already difficult to use from the hand because yeah. you it like requires you to have some sort of science a lot. It should be like. For the remainder, like a creature gets skirmish ready to fight. Although this this untamed card already does that. There's already untamed yeah. card does yeah, well, no, it. Yeah, one does have a print amber, unlike most of the other cards that are dual. That's true. That's true. So that's um, something, I guess. But yeah. Um. Okay. So I uh, the tide is high, so I'll gain one, and I will forge. I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play Hydro Catalogger, which is possibly a mistake. Um, I am going to Phase Shift, Enhance the Draw icon, so I'll draw. And then I will get to Phase Shift something. Um, And counter suit. So I'll put it on the build warden. And then I am going to information exchange. Build warden will get <laughs> Tell you your dog says hi. Alright, I will give him a treat. <laughs> and says and say that. And build warden, I don't want to reap here because I give you a bunch of stuff. So uh, I will draw one. It's your turn. Okay, I'll give him a treat. All right. Treat. Even though you. Pictures dogs is hot. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Play Starlands. I'll select a preservation. So one, two, three, four, five. This one and that. So the that those that sub dies. Um play some light of the archons. There's our letter. Also, look, this is Valmart, I guess. He's, in, he's innumerable. The Starlight's turn, so. I can't kill that guy, so. I'll just reap. Make keys cost plus three. And. Okay, so he is now. Um, plus 12, plus. It's plus 14, plus 12. So he's a 15, 12? Yep. Sorry, 17, 12? Yeah. So I get one for the Mecha Buoy? Mm -hmm. Didn't want to raise the tide. Okay, 
I am going to say um, Star Alliance. Yeah, I'll discard the Selective Preservation since you just played it. Um, and it did basically the same thing. I'll play Rocketeer Triska. I am going to play Diplomatic Agung. I'll choose the Build Warden. We will count as Star Alliance this turn. Uh, I will play... Wait. A friendly creature belongs to the house of your choice in addition to its other houses. Um, can you pick a house from outside the game? It's any house, right? It's okay. Any house you want. I'm going to choose House Robnar. <laughs> so that my zaps hit for one more. Um, so I. So Robnar, Logos, Star Alliance, Sanctum, Sarian. Five. Okay. Um, so I'll play two zaps. Um, so I've got ten damage. I'll kill Numquad and Sensor Philo and then dump two damage into Undagnathus. Um, since you have two creatures right there that can by themselves uh, might mix right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I will play Biome Diversity. Um, look at the top two cards of my deck. Oh, okay. It's Discovery. I was like... I've been saying, have I been saying it wrong this whole time? What did you say? You said diversity. I think it's discovery, right? Oh, biome discovery. Um, I am going to discard dredging druid. Um, Diplomatic Agung is going to reap, and I will say check with nine. I'm not going to use the. Biome. I guess you could have reaped with it and made it something else too. You could have made it like unfathomable, right? So to get one, oh, two more yeah, damage out of yeah, your yeah, zaps. Yeah, yeah, I could have. I could have. You're if right. You want. Here, I'll just do this. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I will force... make a diss. I'll, I'll name yeah, only houses there. Mars! That's a pretty cool interaction yeah, so with the zaps, these... honestly. Alright, I'll, I'll say show. Sanctum. I'll play a Vault Keeper, uh, and Orion, and Orion. I'll Taxing Journey, and I'll Taxing Journey to capture these. And I'll Mighty Lance to kill the Gung and do three damage to Triska. And then I'll just let you play another creature. I'm done. Okay, so I get one for the Tide. Draw. Um, I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to play Blossom Drake. Uh, I am going to play the fittest. You going for the buoy? Yeah, you did. did. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play the fittest. Uh, I'm going to play All Tied Up. Gain two. Blossom Drake is going to kill Uran. I am going to creep or so to uh, ready and reap with Blossom Drake. Turn. I will draw four. Sanctum, play Gatekeeper. Sanctum's just here to play spoiler and make the game longer for no reason. Uh, I'll play Shifting Battlefield to capture one here. I will reap with Orion, gain two. Vault Keeper, also reap. All right, I'm done.
Goodness. I can feel it coming. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to say Logos, and I'm going to play Phase Shift and draw from the Enhance. I am going to uh, waste not my Blossom Drake. And it is four, five, six, seven, so I will draw four cards. The waste not draw Blossom Drake is a really cool combo in there. I play Science. I'm going to play Brain Eater. He's going to eat the Gatekeeper's Brains. Um, I am going to BDQ. Um, get one for the Science. I'll we'll kill the Walmart Brain Eater. I will BDQ. Um, Bilge Warden. Did you draw for Brain Eater? Uh, for the Brain Eater killing? Mm -hmm. No. Um, I think I drew for playing the Brain Eater, but not the actual. Okay, and then I am going to. Why did you draw for playing it? Oh, no, I did. I did then. I did. Okay. I did. I, I totally drew from it. Because I got library card in the brain, mm. right? I'm like, oh, this would be so good for. Um, I, I, I'm I like 99% sure I drew. It doesn't matter. Um, the I'll get the Bilge Warden and the Vault Keeper. Um, and then I will play Infomorph, who will kill your Ryan. All right, that's it. I do Forge, though. Let the record show. They will show that. And she'll launch. Being the record. Yeah, the Sanctum of that deck was like, hey, we're here, we're ready to play. Wait, we're down two keys? <laughs> what happened, guys? <laughs> Why did you let us get this far behind? I'm on Bearston. Nick's Irith is eliminated officially. Rich gank. I don't know about this mashup. Hmm. Sanctum hmm. Sarian, huh? Versus that deck that destroys boards. Sanctum Sarian, huh? Yeah. The logo wants it. I mean, like, you can win the game by playing three epic quests, then. You deserve it. I was six cards to the epic quest for the bulk of that game. Mm. And the uh, I needed the bottom two cards of the deck were the last two Sanctum cards that I had. Um, and so, um, yeah, it was so dumb. No, I think I misplayed the game. Because of the dog skirmish. There's no way a non aggression pact between the two dogs, unless toys or food are involved. Amy Ball just beelines for the closest thing that yeah. she can steal from Eddie. She's a creature of simple comforts. <laughs> Five dollars for getting Nathan rattled. <laughs> well, the thing is, we want to be playing at the highest level at all yeah. times. Yeah. So if anything, you owe us five bucks. Yeah. You owe me five dollars <laughs> for emotional trauma. Ten. Just gotta learn how to play extremely distracted so we can play in the construction sites. For extreme keyforge. Uh you're first? Yes. I'll mulligan. Did I jump? I don't believe you. I guess you have video evidence. It was right next to me. But I saw it coming. Mm. 
That was the first bark fest. Oh, what that he got. Bargain something. Who knows what? Just bargain. That might have been a delivery person. Bargain just to bark. Bargain just to hear himself. Pink sleeves, okay. No whirlpool. No whirlpool. There was something. Oh, the, the Trojan sauropod. Uh, sure. Okay, I'll start things off with the ISS Indominus. Play Larry and Zalador. I will say Unfathomable, I will play Spark Fist and Hookmaster, and I will Recusal's Chant to Exhaust Zalvador. And Let's see, Logos, so I'll play Science. I will Theory or Conjecture Capture One to play the top card of my deck. I'll get one for the Science. First or last, uh, I'll purge each creature with the lowest power. Science. I'm gonna get one for science. And then I'll play Tommy Steelheart with three. Tommy Steelheart with four. Big boys. All right. I am gonna say shadows. I'm gonna play widespread corruption. I am gonna play whisper. I'm going to put Hand Cannon on Hookmaster, and I am going to Ransack for one. And it is your turn, Eldral. Play Logos. Play Armadrone. Play another Steelheart. Ugh. Add another part power? Did I mess that up? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I will fight Hookmaster. I'll reap with this one. It goes on Whisper. Ah, yes. I am going to say Sarians. I'm going to play Undagnathus. Uh, I'll play Faust. I'll capture onto Undagnathus. And I will play Reach Advantage. Raise the tide. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Okay. I will say Logos. I'll fight the Whisper. Steal one. I will leap twice to put on Whisper, and then I'll fight Whisper. And I'm going to say Saurian, so I'll play Region H. Capture the Grand on Agnathus. Dagnathus. Mmm, Dagnathus. Mm. I'm going to ostracize Larry, I guess.
I'll still reap and put it in the armor joint. Uh, undeck Nathus will kill the armor joint. And it's your turn. I will draw two. Mm, I'll say Lotus. I'll. Fight Undiagnathus, fight Undiagnathus. Fight Faust. Does he have too many power counters on him? Do you have. Nope. Oh, is it supposed it's to be flipped? Five. I think it's flipped, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, that's right. And. Uh, Okay, uh, I'll say sorry and I'll play Paragarian and a lap source. And it's your turn, I'll draw two. I'll say so, uh, sorry. Play Undignathus, Faust, Hornets and Octavia, Ankylo Formation, and then. Check with six. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to loot or pillage to steal one. And I will play Hard Simpson. It's your turn. Play Saurian. All decadence to exalt ready and use a creature. I'll use the Tal Mage. Fight Apasaurus. You'll get two. I'll reap for the Undignathus. I guess I could have done that first. Uh, I'll capture two with Cornizen. I'll reap with Faust, which I did first. And that's it. Uh, I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to crash Hard Simpson into Faust. And then I'll play Francis and Gas Pipes. And it's your turn. I'll call to you. So, Forge? Yeah. Play Sarian. Play Venator Altum. Capture one. And I'll. Fight gas pipes and read with reap with the undignathus before. Yeah, 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 I need to be a better at that. <laughs> this is very important. Okay, your turn. Okay, uh, I'm going to say sorry. I'm going to discard the Trojan Sorry Pod. I'm going to play Console Primus. Um, I am going to reap with the Paraguardian. Do I exalt to Ward? Oh, you actually get this. I'll put it on uh, Salvador. Um, I suppose I do. And it is your turn. I will draw to you. 
Vissarian. I will reap twice. Oh, care guardian, and then I'll fight it with the Venator, uh, which will get it exalted. And I'll take some damage. Your turn. I am going to say unfathomable. I'm going to portal. I'm going to sink or swim to discard a random card from your hand. I'm a staunch knight. Now I'll recusal's chant to take. Yeah, it's your turn. Say so check with six. I will draw. I'll play Logos. I'll play a science and capture one. And a static charge on Francis. Done. Start of the turn, sack charge, takes care of the ward. Okay, uh, I'm going to say Saurians. I'm going to play uh, Faust. I am going to exalt. I'll reap a console Primus. Um, do this. And then I am going to swallow whole something. Um, Faust. Faust and Salvador is like, I guess you can eat your own stuff. Or my my stuff beat my own stuff. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, Faust is going to swallow his Alvador. Yeah, you'll forge. I'll say check with seven. Purged my Zalvador. All right. I'll say Sanctum. Play this Epic Quest. Sad Epic Quest. Sad and failing Epic Quest. I will heal or harm to have Cornizen fly into Faust. And I'll play Doorstep. Uh, it was... Uh, up to this point, I didn't want to say it in the middle of the game, but up to this point, it was fairly obvious that Justin had the epic quest in his hand because of how he hadn't called Sanctum in many turns, and he was just kind of doing whatever with whatever was on the table, and he kept capturing stuff, and he didn't care that he exalted. So I was trying to play around. Um, I'm try I was trying to play around all of the capture and stuff. So I was trying to keep getting to six to force him to um, to kill, like keep teasing out answers. Okay, my turn. Uh, start of the turn, Console Primus is going to take two. 
I was also just trying to play around the board control of that deck and like using the stuff I had while I had it. Correct. Yeah. No, I mean you were playing it well. It's just if it if it looked like Justin was taking weird turns and it looked like I was taking weird turns, it was because we were both trying to play around the stuff that was going to happen. Um I also so I've played every Sarian card in the deck because I was trying to set up an unfathomable turn. Justin was trying to play around the board control stuff. Mm. If he had just played into it, I think I lost the game by now <laughs> because I didn't draw it. Because I kept trying to put it together. I would play two Sarian cards because I would have like a couple unfathomable cards in my hand. I'm like, I could, if I could string together an unfathomable turn, it'd be pretty good. I'd play two Sarian cards, I'd draw two Sarian cards. I'd play two Sarian cards, I'd draw two Sarian cards. I'd play two Shadow cards, I'd draw two Shadow cards. Um, and so it was a good thing for me that he was playing such awkward turns, but um, uh, I just didn't have the actual control at that time. Okay, I am going to say Shadows, and I am going to have Francis fight um, here. Get one from the fight, you get one as well. Um, I'm going to loot or pillage and steal one. And I am going to play Monty Bank, and I am going to cement shoes, do two damage to Undag Nafis, I guess. Because the, the armor would prevent Venator from taking the damage, correct? Yeah. So I will say check with seven, I will draw three. Say Sanctum. Play Crushing Charge. Sarian? You said Sarian? Sarian. Play Crushing Charge. I will ostracize the Faust, I guess. Actually, no, that's fine. Uh, I'll play Undignathus. Hello. I reaped first. Sure. Before I did all of that stuff. Found it. Okay. Uh, I am uh, I forge. I am going to say unfathomable. I am going to play a hearted Sidon. I'm going to play two sleep with the fishes, which were like the bottom four you play cards. Those first. What's that? You play those first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I play that first. Do you have portal as well. Oh yes, I do. I, I'll play the portal and it gets archived. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna abandon ship and bounce these. And, um, it is your turn. I will say check with 10. Sorry, I guess I'll exalt those two creatures with Carpe Venom. Yeah, yeah, when I draw like the when I draw like the five best unfathomable cards in the deck, yeah, it looks like it could take a pretty good turn. <laughs> could not see them. Play Venator, play Undignathus, Nathus, Philo. Then I will forge. Francis will take will deal two to the sign on. Uh, I'm gonna say unfathomable. I'll pick up the archives. I'll play port. Sign in will fight Venator. So that happens. It's, it's a, after he's dealt damage. I think he dies before. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, his effects right. would go through. Yeah, I think, that's right. Because of poison. Yeah, I think he would just be dead. Unless you um, choose the. Poison trigger. It's poison isn't a trigger. Okay. 
Um, any damage dealt by this creature's power during a fight destroys the damaged creature. So I think it would die before. Um, I think I'd like it. It's the same as if you did lethal damage to him. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play sleep with the fishes. I will play Recusal's chant to tap everything. Uh, I very purposely kept my stuff alive there. Um, and I will say check with seven, and it is your turn overall too. Can't stop seven. Uh, yeah. I, I, the, I, the I board... got to the actual board yeah. control. <laughs> it's, I, I won the game as soon as I drew the board control. My bring low is also at the bottom. This is unfortunate. This deck is good, I think. I think it's got some good combos. Yeah. I bet it got eliminated, right? Yep. Now yeah. it's gone. Yeah, I think I think that deck could could have been uh, much better. Both the Sanctum Sorry decks got crushed tonight, so. Yeah. Yeah. I had to, I kept I, I drew the Maelstrom with the two sleep from the sleep. I just the like fishes. could not play the Maelstrom. If I played the Maelstrom at all the game, I was just lost. Right? Yeah. I just lost. And it was the sleep with the fishes is already bad. Or not mm. sleep with the fishes. The tapping everything. The bouncing. Oh yeah. Was yeah. awful. That was in my hand. That was in my hand. I had that card in my hand the first time I took an unfathomable turn, and I didn't use it because I knew how good it was. Mm. And so I held it to try to put together a better unfathomable turn. And I did not draw the rest of the Infathable until I got like all the way through the deck. Yeah. So. Well, we got the uh, O2 matchup here. Oh, oh, yeah. This is going to be a grindy game, I think. Yeah, I think so. Unless one deck just like takes over the just, like squats. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom for this game. Okay. Which game? Two, three, two. Yeah, it was close. I just couldn't I couldn't gain any Amber to try to threaten even the last turn. But let's but, I mean, the right vast now. majority of the Amber that she had, you got from... Uh, you got from the reaping and whatnot. Is that a follow? Oh, P Rod, subscribe. Tier one. Thanks a lot, P Rod. Appreciate the subscription. That is wee worthy indeed. Bertani, crushing it on the leaderboard. Gonads and Strife. Tomorrow, I get my second vaccine shot. So Wednesday is going to be a question mark. Uh, Justin's going to be back here in just a second. Did you just show up here? On? He went to the. Uh, he went to excuse himself. I'm back. He's back now. This is gonna be a long game. I had to be prepared. You're a horrible viewer. Why do you say that? He just, he just got here, is what I was saying. Oh. That is what I asked him. I see. So. He was asking where you were, and you like literally Nine. just walked away. So. <laughs> a nine. Kami B is also a horrible viewer. I agree with that. <laughs> uh, ten. Okay. Leaning off camera. I'm the one that can't stay in the camera. He feels it's been rushed. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So people think it was rushed, but they have to understand that there it were was something... they were working on this technology for a long time. It was in to try to battle cancer, yeah. of all yeah. things. Uh, I think Oxford was one of the ones that was working on it for a really long time. And it was just like, oh, we can apply this to COVID. Also, COVID strains of the what SARS virus, right? Which they've been working on since yeah. 2007, right? Since yeah. that thing. So it's like it's not really rushed. Yeah. So I don't understand that argument. It, it's uh, and like almost half, the, more than half of eighteen plus adults in the United States have gotten the shot now. It's like fifty six percent of eighteen plus. I honestly, it's far higher than which I would is have in, it's incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. It's far higher than I would have imagined, but um, 
Years for, yeah, but FDA probably is like bureaucratic BS, so they can yeah, they, well, they can do what was, they have to do to save lives, right? You're right. Well, and there was, uh, I mean, there's like a whole, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's a whole thing, right? So yeah. Uh, you were first, okay. Uh, but it, like, like that versus six hundred thousand deaths in a year. Uh, I want to go places and see my friends. So I'm gonna play. I'll give my shot. It's yeah. fine. And it takes a, a group effort of everyone getting the shot to be able to to get back to a normal like, yeah. situation. And the the XQC parlance: uh, if you are not getting vaccine, then the people who are vaccinating are hard carrying you. <laughs> yes. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna say Sarian. I'll discard Barry Riches. I will play Magistrate Vita, Philo, and I guess a Siren Horn. It sounds like there's going to be a booster needed like after a year, which is. I mean, I fine. think that's whatever, right? That's yeah. basically a flu shot at that point. Yeah. Um, I am going to say Sarian. I'll play Venator. I'll play Undeck Nathus. Uh, Vita says non friendly non Sarian creature. Um, and then Venator Altum. I, I could will, reap with. And I, can, I can actually exalt it now. Uh, I will play Faust. Um. I will play Carpe Venom. I think it all bounces out in the long run. And it is your turn. I will draw. Hmm. Okay. I'll say... See you, <laughs> Take care. All right. Um, I'll say sorry, and I'll fight Faust. You even take the damage. I'll just take the damage. No, you don't. Oh, you don't take. Oh my God, Siren Horn on him is yeah. really good. <laughs> and I'll reap with Magistrate. Okay, I'm going to say Sarian. I'm going to play Undagnathus. Uh, I'm going to play Ankleo Formation. Um, I Is it going to give us Creature Skirmish? Um, I am going to give it Creature Skirmish. I'll give Venator Altum Skirmish, who is going to kill Extra Vita. Um, and then Undagnathus is going to reap. And it's your turn. I'll draw two. Say Sanctum. I'll play a Numquid. I uh, will destroy Undignathus. And then I will destroy. Armadron. Almighty Lance, those two. Play Orion. Play Shifting Battlefield. I'll leave Orion over here. Funds. Your turn. Uh, I'll say sorry and I'll play Sensor Philo. Um, Undiagnathus will kill you, Ryan. Uh, you got oh he does yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. he does damage. Tide is nooch, nooch right now. I'm going to reap with uh, Venator Altum, and it is your turn. Say Sanctum. Play Ballkeeper. Play Bever. Play Orion. Play Taxing Journey. On these three. Them quid will reap. Here. I am going to say Sanctum. Uh, I'll play Bring Low. I'll 
play Badge Magus. Capture here. And it is your turn. I will draw to you. Say, sorry. Oh no. Um, so so sorry, and I will fight there. I will ostracize the badge magus. I'll play wipe clear. You're gonna destroy this. And capture one. And play Evanator. Okay, my turn. I am going to play Science. I am going to play Bilge Warden and Raise the Tide. I'll play Tall Mage and put three plus one counters. Um, I am going to play Bouncing Death Quirk and I'll get one from the Science. Um, I'll get Bilge Warden Bever. I'll get Undagnathus uh, Philo. Oh, it had how much damage on it? Just one? Yeah. Um, I'll get Tall Mage and Urion, and I'll leave it there. I will Positron Bolt the Vault Keeper. Do one for science. And one for science. And I will say check with seven. And... Okay, I'll say Sarian. And I'll say uh, Star Alliance. I will. Selective preservation, four and seven, that guy has. Play Jericho, play Valmart. I'll give Jericho Lady the Archons. Your turn. I forge. There's been very little taking chains to raise the tide tonight. I guess maybe, maybe it's just the nature of these decks. Well, these two decks don't have great ways to do it. Nor do they really care about the tide. Yeah. It's like, it's like a downside on some of your Saurians mm -hmm. who are already like too big to, uh, that are, care. Like, to yeah. worth fighting, to be, to be worth fighting. Um, I'm going to say Saurian. This is like another game where I feel like I've just had like a... can't name the right house two turns in a row. Um, I will decadence to move on from the Vault Keeper onto Val Jericho, and then I will ostracize Val Jericho. And it's your turn, I'll draw to you. The logos in this deck may be Maybe the worst logos. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. Uh, the three that signs and three um, tall mage. Tall mage is so bad. I'll say they don't even work together. Play Espeon. Play these light of the archons on Valmart, I guess. And uh, I don't really want to take chains to use a creature, so I'll just reap with the Valmart. Right, my turn. Um, I'm going to play Science, 
Tom so you, you gave back the science. the attachment last game, right? Believe so. Static. Yeah, I think I died at some point. This isn't. I think I gave it to you. Just thinking about it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and then this science captures, and I gain one, which I think I did. Um, Tall Mage has got two. Bertani was watching. Okay, gotcha. Bertani is always watching. Yep. And uh, it's your turn. I'll draw three. Say so Starline. So I will deploy Hawkins. Gain two. Five power. Yes. I'm plus four. Plus four. I'll attack it. I'll reap. I'm done. Uh, okay. I am... So, Valmart is seven. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to say... Um... Sanctum, I'm going to heal or harm. I'll fully heal Valmer. And then I will first or last and purge each creature with the highest power. Sevens. Good. And then I will doorstep. Pretty good card. And it's your turn. I'll draw three. Say... Sorry, I'll play as Undignathus and I'll Ankleo formation. Check with six. I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play Tall Mage. The lone Tall Mage. Uh, and I will Theory or Conjecture. I'll capture one, and then I'm going to archive the top two cards. And it is your turn. I will draw two. Star Alliance. I'll put Amber Vac on Undignathus to use the Nathus. Fight the Tall Mage. And I'll reap with these two. And I'll play a Tabor. Uh, I am going to say Sarian. I'm going to play Cornice and Octavia, and I'm going to Crushing Charge. And I'll get a chain um, to crush the Star Alliance. And I'll drop the chain and draw one. And it's your turn. I capture two. Yep. Alright, I'll play Sanctum. The Gatekeeper, play Marshall. I'll give Marshall shoulder armor. I'll attack some journey. Capture one Gatekeeper. Oh, I captured one Marshall too. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say Sanctum. I am going to play Larry the Lake and General Salvador. I'll play Epic Quest. I'll Hammergram Ewer. Just stuns him. It does three damage, but also stuns him. In this case, the stunning is the important part. Draw two, and then I will shuffle and draw three more. I had no chance of Epic Quest last game. If I could have set up Epic Quest early in last game, I think I could have won it, but man. I had. I, I this I couldn't get anything going this game. Yeah. There's like so many dead cards. Um the logos is like all dead cards. The logos is like half half dead. Yeah. It's like theory conjecture and bouncing death quark and bilge warden you actually want, and then like the rest of the logos is just like it's not drawing cards, it's not really doing much. If you play three sciences, it's three amber, you know? It's like, I play a science, gain no amber, play the second science, gain an amber, play the third science, gain two amber. Oh, you forged your second. Yeah. 
I'll say Star Alliance. I'll put an Officer's Blaster on the Dignathus, and I'll Technobabble to stun the Octavia. For sure. I am going to say Logos. I am going to play Science and Capture onto Octavia, and I'll put a Static Charge onto the Gatekeeper. And it is your turn. I'll draw to you. That, and then this. The Sanctum. Play Orion. I'll shifting battlefield. Orion. Um, unstunned. Yeah. I'll pick up my archives and say Sanctum. I am going to play a Staunch Knight. Two Zalvadors. Bury the Lake. Corpulent Collector. Explodes? No, nope. I capture it first. Uh, and then I'm going to heal our harm to completely oh, heal. Oh, wow. Off. The combos. Uh, and you'll notice one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Um, <laughs> okay. It's your turn. I'll say Saurian. A reap with Undignathus. <sighs> I'm gonna ostracize the, the guy. But these are the top two, so I don't have any. Okay. This was the next card because I knocked mm. the top three cards on the floor. Uh, so you could have cheated. Yeah. Easy. Just cheat. Game didn't matter. It's fine. Mix Irith going out swinging. Now we got the two, the two O's facing down. Perhaps not for the last time. No, I just destroyed Amber there. Destroyed Amber. Destroyed Amber, that contest. No one bet on not Nathan. Not much. Not, not people only bet on me. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Why are you, why are you grabbing that deck? I grabbed the decks. You're in Rich Gang. Oh, you get to play that. Deck. I don't know, I like that deck a lot. Yeah, yeah, you would. <laughs> you would. Okay. This deck requires too many IQ points. But it is pretty cool. Uh, Artboy, did you watch Invincible? Did, er, for that matter, did anybody else watch Invincible? The finale happened this week. So, um, I enjoyed it. I've been a fan of the comic for a long while. It fell off somewhere along the way, so I haven't watched it yet. You read the books? Okay. Yeah, I haven't read the... I think, honestly, the show is like a better version of the comic. Um, I fell off on the comic at, around the Viltramite War. Um is like issue 75 or something um but uh i think i think the show is just like a better paced version of the comic so a six i think i want every die roll i don't know why i can't roll dice <laughs> you won. You won most of them last night. Okay. But, uh... Hmm. Since garbage, Mulligan again. I'm also looking Mulligan. There was no. There was no logo shadows or, or there was no logos. Uh, untamed star lines in my opening hand, so I threw it away. Hmm. Can't wait for the next season of The Boys. Yeah, The Boys is pretty good too. The Boys is also a better version of the comic, uh, as, as a better version as a show than the comic. Um, so, I did actually watch Escape from New York. Um, I did. Didn't mean to put the. <laughs> did I mean to put the question mark? Can we gift a sub to Gunstar? Wow. Thank yeah, you. look at that. Thanks, Can we? Um, yeah, I did actually go watch Escape from New York after we talked about it. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good movie.
Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Um, it's it. Man, I I don't I don't know why they stopped letting John Carpenter make films. Hmm. That makes sense. Just to prove him wrong with money. It's the best way to do it. Yeah, it's. <laughs> if uh, if the viewers who are easily insulted into giving us more money could please identify themselves, um, uh, then that would help me insult you faster. Wait for everything to lose. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Watching Shadow and Bone. I haven't even heard of that. On Netflix. Uh, it's like a fantasy series, right? Mm. Is it based off novels? I'm sure, like, the vast majority of... I'll let Netflix expire, and I haven't watched a TV show in a long time, so... Skip. I can't... Escape uh, from L.A.? Well, trash. There, okay, so um, the, when you go back and you watch a movie like Escape from New York, it's like um, it fills in so many holes in references to other things. Mm -hmm. So um, a reference I did not get and I laughed at and it was like really funny when it happened. And it's just like, it's just... it. Um, is the you're the Duke of New York a number one? Mm -hmm. I did not realize in Aqua Teen Hunger Force when Boxy Brown is yelling at Meatwad that that is was taken from Escape from New York. Um, and so yeah, I watched Classic. that, and that scene happens, and I was like, oh my god, it all makes sense now. It's all coming together. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you got you got TCO, but no, the keyboard is the keyboard is not going to get an online client. Well, it's FFG, yeah, like, I'm yeah. telling you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I have come to the I I have come to the and I think I came to this realization long ago. I think Justin and I have more or less been on the same page that there is never going to be an official online client while FFG owns the game. While FFG owns the game, I will make that I will make that. I, I'm going to append that to the end of every time I say that. But. Mm -hmm. I am going to say Shadows. I'll play Jackie Tar. But TCO has gotten a lot better. Uh, and uh, Sir General Draw. Over the, the years. All right, I'll say Logos. I'll play Mecha Booey. Play Brain Eater. I'll discard information exchange. I am going to say Saurians. I'm going to play Paraguardian, Console Primus, and I will play Reach Advantage to raise the tide. And it's your turn. I will draw three. Bill Lewis will play a Bill Jordan. Raise the tide. I'll play information exchange. Brain Eater. Fight the Primus. I'll draw. Play a library card. I am done. Why won't they do one? Because they are a gutted company. <laughs> yeah, they, are they don't have the resources. They do not they don't have, have a plan for it. They don't, they don't. They definitely don't have a plan. They don't have a plan for it. There's no. There's literally no plan. You, all you have to do is take a look at the other FFG digital offerings. Um, I th we we could probably if we're gonna blame anything, we can probably blame. I'm ready to blame Asmodi all day. Well, I was gonna say I, I think you could blame XCOM and um, Mansions of Madness and Descent. You can blame those. Or them probably spending so much money developing working apps for that. Mm, those are probably um, worth though, because they kept making them. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. X and they still make the the Lord of the Rings one. Or XCOM, no, but yeah, but yeah. But what like, I'm saying, I'm saying is, you can, you can. They probably spent the money thinking they were going to get the money back from it, and they probably didn't. I know they're probably. They may have made a profit, but they did not make the profit that they were expecting, right? And then they had an experience for the actual app development cycle and how like difficult it is to work with that stuff uh, or to, to work with like outsourcing it or whatever they did to develop those. And, um, and like that, that's it, right? Like, so 
Um, all right, I am going to say um, sorry. I'm going to play Laposaurus. I'm going to reap with Paraguardian. I will exalt so that I can ward. And I am going to ostracize the village warden. Um, I don't think I can afford to take the chains here, so I will not. Okay, I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play Triska. Yeah. Play a Kirkar. A draw. I'll play Kirkar. Uh, Kirkar will reap. Your turn. Uh, well, the movie was released in like '81, right? '82, something like that. It's early '80s. Um, so. Okay, I am going to say shadows. Now I think I take the three chains to raise the tide. Um, because I get value from Jackie Tar. Mm. Um, I am going to reap with Jackie Tar, who's absolutely going to smoke Triska. Pow! Um, I am going to play Francis the Economist. I'm going to play Whisper. I think Hard Simpson is too risky to play here. That deck had Zap, right? Um, and I will Ransack. Oh, that's a good card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and it is your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw three. Okay. Let's say Untamed. Play Kangafant. Play Deepwater Gruen. Uh, you'll get one. Play Genetic Drift. Uh, it will give... Gruen a power counter, and then the Gruen gets a second power counter. But then I'm going to waste not it. Draw four. Which is like I drew a new hand. Uh, I do have this Moogling, so I'll play Moogling. And that's it. Back with seven. Okay. Did you get one for the Mecha Bowie as well? Yeah. Just giving you free amber. Okay, I am going to say unfathomable. I'm going to sink or swim to discard a card at random from your hand. My Moogling. It's not an awful card to discard, but I got a feeling you're not going back into the hand of the following turn. I'm going to Recusal's Chant to tap everything, and then I'm going to sleep with the fishes to kill everything. I'll get the Pair Guardian. These will die. I'll lose my wards. Um, I will play a Hookmaster, and then it is your turn. Drop a chain. Say so check with six. That works. I'll say Star Alliance. I'll play Biome Discovery. Get the Tide. I'll play Zap. Three. Um, well, you want to do three. I'll zap Hookmaster for two. I guess I can do three and then do the rest. So, yeah. Your turn. <laughs> any unsubbers? We got any unsubscribe people in chat? I am going to say... You do, Gorge. Oh, yeah. I am going to say... Unfathomable. I'm going to reap with the Hookmaster. I am going to 
play uh, no, no no first I'm gonna play Sleep with the Fishes, then I'll reap the Hookmaster. And then I'll play Spark Fist. And I guess I'll take the chains to raise the tide to keep you from getting the free mecha buoy. And I will drop two. <laughs> I'll say on this I'll say Star Lance. I'll play Biome Discovery to take the tide. I will discard Espeon and I'll discard Tabor. Check with six. I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play the Indominus. I'll play the Sauropod. Hey. Hey. I am going to play Faust the Great, who is going to exalt Lapisaurus. Um, the, I'm going to just capture with Faust. I'm not going to worry about exalting. And then I will reap with Lapisaurus. Uh, you took the tide. I will pay the six to take the tide. Or pay the three to take the tide back. And uh, it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw three. All right. Hey, Logos. Use library card. Play Infomorph. Draw. Play Science. Draw. Play Hydrocatalog. Draw. Play Phase Shift. Get one for Science. Draw. Play. PDQ, draw, get one, destroy those. Phase shift still. Play the fittest. Science more fittest draw. <clears throat> Play phase shift. Oh, oh I draw. Enhancement draw. Phase shift will play. Collective preservation. Draw. Get one. I'll kill one of these two. Um. I'll kill the hookmaster. That was it. Did you just find Samber from? Mm, I don't think so. Unless I did. Okay, uh, I am going to say shadows. I'm going to play widespread corruption. You do gain one. Uh, yeah. I'll play gas pipes from the load. I'll put a hand cannon on gas pipes from the load. I will cement shoes the Laposaurus. And I'll drop a chain. Is it capture one? No, that's the. Oh, uh, okay. Destroys our. Right. Drop a chain and draw four. So check with Do I just you have capture three stuffs? I'll say uh, untamed. I will play all tied up. Take the tide. Seems like a bad idea. What if it's not a bad idea? What if... What if I have 
Monty Bank. What if you have Monty Bank and the Capture 3? I have not seen Monty Bank yet. It's the long con. We're doing it. Always crack sauropod. I have hard sinum. Okay. <laughs> and a lot of that stuff. Okay. But I have the two. Yeah. Where's he going? Uh, you can go there. And the draw and drop chain. Play dredging druid. Reaper soda ready and reap with it. I don't think I'm gonna put anything on top. Things this one this deck wants to see are not necessarily creatures. I could get like Moogling just in case. That's a, that's a pretty boring move. Because you have to play Shadows next turn pretty much. So. I will play Play this Blossom Drake. Mechaboo is like another thing you have to deal with, so. I'll just discard Blossom Drake and I'll put Instrument of Silence in the Druid. Okay, your turn. Uh, okay, I'll say Shadows. A Forge. I'll say Shadows. I'll play two loot or pillages. Gas pipes will fight dredging drain. It puts so before fight it puts one on it and then fight move one from the creature, this creature fights to your pool. Pretty good. And I will um take three chains. You could archive one. Uh, it doesn't it's all the same. Okay. Yeah. Star Alliance. Play a gun to make the Star Alliance for the turn. Play counter suit. A zap. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll do four and one. Get a ward. Discard. No, I'll, no, I'll discard. That's beyond. I'll reap. And I'll take three chains. Yeah, I've got a reach advantage, but that's it. Go. Okay. All right. This, this well, deck uh, actually, is actually uh, no, no, because you reap. Um, the amber goes to one of my creatures with uh, spread corruption. Okay. I guess I could have reaped first and then zapped. Yeah. So. Then that's it. Okay. This deck uh, is pretty good, and I think this is the kind of deck that beats that deck because that deck wants to beat you if you're trying to use the board. Yeah, but it still came close. So, uh, if, I think if I had ever gotten to tax you, or if um, yeah, because I had I had there's two fouls in this deck, right? The second foul was like in the bottom three cards, mm. but it, it was because I had to take the change because of the mecha buoy, right? So, um, mecha buoy just caused infinite chains the game. Yeah. I didn't have to take chains except for that last turn. Yeah, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't draw either of my portals. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, I I, I didn't. And but I think with the chains, you 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 get like stuck before you can get to those actual cards. So, um, I got bogged down significantly that game. All right. Two more well, advancing decks though. At least the best deck. Uh, 
advanced. I think be the, the best two decks definitely made it out of this pod, so yeah. no problems there. And the funny thing is, I think these decks are actually probably good against um, some mass mutations and some worlds collide. For sure, stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I think I think they've got um, they have uh, interesting things that they can do. So I think Arctic Ishtar is on a whole other level. Yeah, it's um, it's doing some awesome stuff. So the because the turn I library card, I only had three logos cards in hand, um, but I knew I had like nine in the stupid deck because I just mm -hmm. hadn't gotten to them. Not nine, but it was like six. Yeah. Um, so it's I, one of, was one of them in your hand phase shift. One was phase shift. Yeah. Yep. So that's so you and the thing really with that four. is that you know you can at least, uh, you know, if you hit something, you can keep going, right? Right. So, this uh, is a very good library card deck. Yeah. Um. Because yeah. you, you can fish to hit the next thing. It, it's like it's very much like the old library access decks, right? Yep, it is. I think that I think the thing that has stopped um, the library card decks from doing insane stuff. There's some mass mutation lack of helper bot, lack of phase shift. Yeah, there there are some mass mutation decks that can that can do a pretty good impersonation sometimes. Yeah. But um, when you when you start mixing in phase shifts and think twice is and not like think that, twice, uh, <laughs> that's when in the wild wormhole yeah. card. Yeah, yeah there you conjecture. conjecture. Because that's basically two. So yeah, um, yeah. There we go. That's tonight's shot. My shot tomorrow. We'll play it by ear for Wednesday. There's a chance that I feel fine and we can stream on Wednesday. Um, um, there hasn't been a dog skirmish in this room for at least an hour, so I am no longer tilted. Um, yeah. MEV, thank you. Look at this. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. He's sitting right there pretending like he's a sweet baby angel. <laughs> pretending like he's a cherubim right there. Pretending like, pretending like he's never done anything wrong. He hasn't. Never been. Never been bad. He's it's pretending like no other dog in the house. No. Nope. Uh, yeah. So if we don't stream Wednesday, we'll do a makeup day. Like yeah. Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Family. But like I said, we'll, okay. we'll play it by ear. Just keep keep uh pay attention to the Discord. Um, so. you know, we have some uh Sherman Pogs in chat for vaccines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there you go for your vaccines. Sherman Pog. Uh, exercise your Sherman Pogs. Yeah. Thanks for um, watching, everybody. Have a good yeah rest of the week. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. And we will see you <laughs> next time, whenever next time may be. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye.